high map pose and where there's down trees there's wood and where there's wood you'll saw it. Are you guys ready for adventure or something? Hmm? You think you're ready to go out into this here wilderness, huh? Yes. Hello, the wilderness. It is about time we were reunited. I am embracing you with open arms, and I hope you are embracing me as well. The Rugus Batugus has laid down on his own free will within five minutes of starting the trip. This is just such a great win for everybody. <laughs> That's awesome. Good boy, Rugs. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am out with first mate Roly Poly. Captain Funky Jugs, and first mate, Long Nose Beady Eyes. And we've just embarked on a six night wilderness adventure. Uh, it is fall time, the colors are out. Uh, they're not too crazy this year because there was a, a big drought. And speaking of the drought, uh, there was fires. Uh, as you know, if you've been following the channel, a couple of my trips were canceled. And here's some clips right here to just show you some of the fires, we drove right by them. This wasn't the worst of it, but they definitely got right up to the road. The fire, the firefighters are working hard to take care of it, and the fire is 80% managed. It's not done yet, and it's even been raining, but it's 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 not going to spread any further. So I want to give a quick shout out to all you firefighters out there, not just the wilderness firefighters, all of you guys. You're essential, and thank you very much for your service. So the plan for this trip is to catch some fish, like we always do, eat some fish, have a good time, see some nature, hopefully see a moose and uh, travel to a couple different campsites. So this trip might as well be known as my favorite trip of the year. I'm out with my favorite peoples and my dogs are peoples. Um, you know, it's fall time, my favorite, absolute favorite time of year. It's 50 degrees right now, Fahrenheit, 10 Celsius. Uh, it's slightly overcast, 
So there's just a slight chill in the air. It's just, it's perfect. This is just, I love this time of year. You can do the portages. You can wear your long sleeves. You can have a hot fire and just stay warm. It's just, it's also good. I just love, this is just my favorite time of the year. You just, you just see it out there. You just want to reach out and grab that wilderness and just take it home with you. But you can. Yeah, I'll leave it here. Don't believe what they say either. I didn't get a late start today. We got an early start. That was, that was due to the funk. Uh, she was just like, I don't want to arrive to camp in the dark. And I was like, you know, I don't really have that bad of a track record for that, but I see what you're saying. I see what you mean. Let's, let's start in the dark, get to camp in the daylight. So we had a seven, eight hour drive and uh, here we are. We're ready to go. So a couple things I want to mention right off the bat is you will not be seeing much of much of funk if it if any of funk. She does not choose to be on YouTube, and that's all I'm gonna say about that. You might hear her voice, but just know that she's there, okay? And you'll also notice that I've got first mate Roly Poly in the boat with me, and that's because he's still kind of a novice. He's pretty good, he's gotten a lot better, but he's still like like that. He'll just jump up and switch sides just to see what's there. And it's a little more tippy, and since I'm a little more experienced in the boat, uh Funk gets first mate pee poops McToots, which is just a master of the canoe. He's he hasn't moved since he got in the boat. He's still just laying there. I can see his little beady eyes peering over the boat. Not his nose though, just his little teeny eyes looking right at me. He heard you heard me talk about him. Rogus, could you sit down please? Please? Please sit down? Sit sit? Maybe not? Oh, okay, alright. Guess you can you lay down nice all right cool so enough blabbing let's toss a line in the water and just troll a little bit we're not going to put it too far behind we don't got far to go to the portage but we're still gonna you know we, we we're here i i would take a cast but we want to make sure we get a nice sight okay so anyways yeah just a little bit more paddling maybe i'll get a fish maybe i'll flip the boat and then uh yeah we'll do our first portage of the trip let's get to it you like that rooks Got the wind in your, your snout, in your hair, your fur, whatever you want to call it. The smell of the wilderness. Just the fresh water that you've already jumped in. And just the, the possibilities are endless, Rooks. Interesting, my chartreuse slayer got a new uh, little tail on it. I wonder... Uh, let's see. Um, I don't know where it came from. Luckily, there's only fur on there. Hmm? Where could it have come from, Rooks? Hmm? Come on, G. Let's go. So if you are wondering, I am making three trips per portage. I am carrying my gear bag and my oars and poles first, then I'm going back and getting my boat with my food bag, and then I'm going and getting Funk's boat because I'm a gentle man. Well, not too gentle. Not too little gentle. Just the right amount of gentle. Right. That's right. It's gotta be known that Funk carries everything else of her own though, okay? <laughs> yeah. She, she sure does. She's a strong, independent woman. I'd carry my own boat if I wasn't so damn short. <laughs> Honestly, I could carry the boat. It's just so long. I just, going up and down the hills, it just... It's so long. Stop with the innuendos. So long. My Monty. Monty? Have you ever heard the wolf cry for the blue corn moon? <laughs> or ask the green bobcat why he grins? I know what you're talking about, lady. Pocahontas, bro. Yeah, poke your hunches. I'm sorry, Monty, I bonked you. <laughs> you hit him with your paddle? I did. Happens I all the time. Huh? Say, he didn't seem to mind. He what? He didn't seem to mind. Oh, yeah, no, he's, he's used, used to it. it. 
surprised your nose is so long still. <laughs> There's a family of baby loons right there. But see, they, they submerge, so they can't hear me and you can't see them. So, but they were there, right there. Oh, there's one. Oh, there, there it is. Well, when you're triple carrying portages, uh, the time will creep up on you. You know, uh, the sun just set. Yeah. <laughs> so we're on our lake for the evening. Um, we're just gonna take the first campsite we find. Uh, we're gonna quickly gather up some firewood along the way and just some pieces, and then we'll process it at camp. But we're kinda kinda get to a campsite quick here because we gotta good meal plan for tonight and we you know we've had a long day already and we're pretty hungry so we're just gonna cruise along to a site it is a beautifully still evening huh this would be a great night for fishing I'm starting to get a tidbit nipply <laughs> <laughs> My map's all covered in water. It's the dew. It's dewy, ewy, ewy, dewy. All right, we are our first campsite for the evening. We got some pieces of firewood here, ready to press up. It's kind of wet. Got our fire grate. Got a nice view. Um, we gotta wait. Oh yeah, all right. We've gotta find a nice spot for the tent. Probably right here. But uh, anyways, yeah, it's getting kind of dark. We are gonna set up quick. And uh, yeah, we'll get to processing, but we, we gotta move here. It's We're getting a little hungry and tired. We're getting a little hangry. Are you hangry, Funk? I'm not hangry yet. Yeah, I'm, I'm not angry, I'm happy hungry. So I would be happy. Happy? Happy. Hangry. No. Happy angry. Happy angry. Happy angry. We'll take that. We'll take that. So, we are just doing camp duties, uh, getting things taken care of. Funk is setting up all of our, our tent, our sleeping pads, everything like that. She's getting it all ready. I'm getting water. I'm going to start processing this wood. Ruger's helping me a little bit there, but we've got our duties. And then we've got to get them taken care of because we need some food. Yes, we do. Huh? <laughs> what? Are you laughing at my cot? This is ridiculous looking. It's like seven inches off the Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we have got camp set up. Our dogs are begging like crazy. Funk is working on dinner prep. 
And uh, yeah, I'm going to split this firewood, not too much. Um, so I, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, I probably didn't, but it was pretty much raining like for three, four hours today, right up until we actually got here, it was drizzling as we were setting up. So everything's kind of wet. So let's just split a piece here. We need a couple, oh yeah, it's nice. That's real nice. So for dinner today, what are we having, Aaron? Oh, you the huge. What's that? A nice ribeye. Oh, a ribeye. How, how many pounds is that one? Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> it was like, 1.83 so two two pounds two pounds well i mean that's not fair because once you cut all the fat two pounds two pounds <laughs> two pounds <laughs> first time we're splitting one that's yeah we, that's we, how big it is <laughs> oh you cut them brussels oh yeah do it oh that's a that was he just oh Like, like we need to destroy some food because I want this this morning poop to be so pasty from all the ribeye and potatoes. We're just making a hot pasty pile tonight. That poop I pooped at the starting was weird. It was a weird poop? It was just like, you know, never poop in the middle of the day. Like rarely. Yeah, you're a morning pooper. Once the morning poop is done, it's done. Look at that potato cut in action. Carbs and starch and oh my. Quit my job and just cut potatoes for the rest of my life. Oh yeah, is that garlic in there? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, you're using that cutting board. Oh. Yeah, this was in my camping arsenal. Oh. Why? <laughs> I just realized that you're using that. Those bendy cutting boards. That's gonna be so much better. Yep. <laughs> I'm sitting here watching you struggle. I'm just like, why is it? Why does it seem like she doesn't like this table? Is that immediately better? Yes. Get these on here. Okay, we need some. Where's that butt hair? Um, it's sitting there. I see it. All right, we're gonna add some butt hair to the onions and potatoes, and then some butt hair to the Brussels. We'll save a little butt hair for after. For these, we have got the one, the only, Montreal steak seasoning. Well, the spicy version. Why Why is that, Funk? Um, because we both decided we didn't need Montreal this trip. We both decided? Yeah. Don't you put this on me. I, I just remembered a little bit differently. Hey, Funk, 
Did you remember to pack the Montreal? No, Matthew. We never use Montreal, so I'm not going to pack it on purpose because we will definitely not need it for this trip, okay? <laughs> okay. So we both are responsible. Mm. But it's fine because guess what? We've got Montreal. It's true. We did. We got it right at the last store we could possibly get it at. We remembered. They were all out of the normal. But you know... When in doubt, blame others, not yourself. Put my light, please. I don't want a, a bunch of spicy food. Today. Wait, this is on the Brussels. I'm just saying overall. There we go. That's enough butter for our arteries. Mix that in with a little steak fat. And you're going to have yourself a heart attack at a good time. Why are you so fluffy? Like, you look like a cloud with a body attached to it. Look at your little twofers. Look at those things. Can we get those in focus more? Oh yeah, there we go. That's some focus twofers. I mean, look at those things. Are those even real teeth, Monty? I mean, look at those twofers. How come you can't close your, I mean, look at that gap. You hungry? Do you want a treat? Do you want a treat, Monty? Do you want some food? <laughs> okay, let's get you some food. Did mama brush you guys? Where you can't sleep, it's time for treats. Do you want a treat? Do you want food? It's like I'm just... Today's been a long day. There's a moose going through the water over here. <coughs> Monty! So, I don't know if I got any of those noises on camera, but there was a big old bull moose. There's a little, we're in a little bay, and right, I would say, like 150 feet, 200 oh. feet, the, at the edge of the bay over there, uh, bull moose came right to the edge of the water, and these guys weren't having it. <laughs> they didn't like hearing a big old animal crash trees <laughs> and push through, so I got in my canoe and I kind of paddled over but they definitely made him not so happy. But he went around the bay and he came about like another hundred feet from camp and just went by. He didn't pay no mind to us, but it was definitely a bull moose. hundred percent. I mean, it just sounded like... A giant breaking through the forest. Yeah, it just sounds like a bulldozer going through the trees. Just crashing the trees. And he let, he let out like a couple... Hmm. Yeah, just Hmm. Medicine veal. The glorious. The wonderful. The magical. The mystical. Two pound. Boneless ribeye. Oh my. I mean, look at the. That is a thick old. She thick. I mean, look at that. <laughs> That's thick. That is a. Beautiful specimen of a steak. That's damn near a roast. Let's just sprinkle a little spicy Montreal on there. There we go. That's a good steak. Pet it. Good steak. Yes. Flip it. Little Montreal. Pet it. Spank it. That's a naughty steak. And now, let's grill it. That had some heft to it. <laughs> meat sweats are when you eat a massive amount of meat like this and you sweat at night. 
It's a real thing. Ah! <gasps> I'm a real man. No. Oh, that burned my fingers. Goo. Fine. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Those are pretty good. You might not like them, they're a little firm. Mm. Alright. <gasps> so you can take all the hair out of my way for my delicious meal. No, it's fine. I just was not expecting that at all. <laughs> These look done. Mm -hmm. Oh man, this is going to be. Can you imagine having a whole other potato and a half no. onion <laughs> and another <laughs> steak? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Man, I wish they had something that like, you could like grab a really hot piece of meat on a fire and it wouldn't burn your fingers. I just wish that existed. Oh my gosh. Look at that glory. Oh my gosh. There's only one way to tell if a steak that the, this big is done, and that is to poke it. Oh, it's done. Oh, <gasps> oh it's done. Ah, let it rest. Mm. I will be satisfied with whatever judgment you choose. I will silently judge you, but you know, if I get too little, but you know, that's just that's just how it goes. That was my pound. What? <laughs> Just kidding. Do you want to get smacked? <laughs> Probably should not have set that down next to Rugs. Look at him eyeball it. He's being a very good boy. He is. He's so gonna get. He's he gonna get. He knows better. He knows not even to think about it. He's gonna get his portion though, so that's why he knows. That's a good boy, Rugs. Well, I mean, ooh, that's pretty rare. Ooh. Let's just... Ooh, I'm... Is that raw? Kind of looks like it. it's it's too underdone for me. <laughs> it, it, it needs to be cooked a little bit more. <laughs> you sear it just like <laughs> on those sides. It'll cook. I mean, I you know, I should let it rest more. Yeah, you let it rest for like two minutes. <laughs> You're just impatient, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just ruined it. Just throw it in the garbage. <laughs> You know, sometimes in life we make mistakes. For those of you screaming that I destroyed the steak, I didn't destroy the steak. It's going to be delicious and enjoyed. Yeah, it looks a little different than it probably should. It kind of looks like chicken breasts now or little New York strips. <laughs> All right, so at this point, I don't really care. Yeah, I'm ready. I'll eat mine raw. Monty, I don't know if you can tell, but Monty's Here. getting real pushy. That's hot. He's sitting nicely, though. He is sitting very nicely. And you've been such good boys all day. You gave me plenty of drool on my knee, Monty, so go ahead. They're going to eat that in two seconds. And you know I'm going to give them a few more pieces. So that was just... I had to let my steak get cold so that they could get their treats, okay? That's how it works. Yep. I had to make sure my steak got nice and cold. Well, if you're lukewarm. wondering, it was super delicious and everything was really hot. <laughs> Just so you know. 
Mm, it's so good. Mm. This is why we're here. You know, you can wilderness anytime you want, but steak? That beats campfire steak. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Every time I look at them, I need to give them another piece. I think I have some of this, like, I don't like this, uh, Super thick, sinewy. Hey, Monty, go ahead, Rooks. Go ahead. All right. Hmm. This is delicious and a big mess. And, uh, They're gonna definitely get a couple more pieces, but yeah. I'm gonna shut off this light. The stars are out. It's a clear sky. Well, at least it was. We can't see anything. <laughs> so we're gonna check back in with you guys when we're done eating. Cause that's a really bright light. Unless you want it on, Funk? No. <laughs> no. So I brought us out a special treat. Gas station cinnamon rolls. Mmm. This is life though. Monty, come here. Remember, not on my stuff. Not on my stuff. He's on my stuff. Monty? Lay down. Lay down, Rooks. Good job. <laughs> uh, so as you can see, there is a red material over their sleeping pad. That is because I did not want them to pop it, so I sacrificed a sleeping bag liner to coat the sleeping bat or pad so that uh, they wouldn't pop it. Right, Rooks? So, we are gonna pass out. Uh, I'm full. <sighs> it's late. So I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Hey, settle down. No, 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 don't Rooks, let him do that. He's right on the pad. Lay down, Rooks. How's it going, my team? It's a tidbit definitely this morning. It's windy. I slept pretty good. I mean, this sleeping pad, I got this. Well, with all the pop pads I've had in my day, I sent in them to get in their warranty system with Neo Air or whatever, and they sent me back these. And uh, it's like sleeping on a water bottle. <laughs> it's, t it's not the best sleeping pad. It's like, when I roll, I almost roll off one of the dogs in the middle of the night. Them. And like Monty was like, well, he was so mad at me last night, Posa. <laughs> like I swear to God, he was like ready to get up and kick my. Ass. Like I was so fidgety and moving around for so long and trying to get comfortable, and he was just like, just groaning and groaning, and he, he just kept sitting up and looking at me, and then he put his head back down. Some of you may be asking why I've got this nice cut and I'm not giving it to Funk, and sharing it with her and using it myself. And there's a really good explanation. He's an <gasps> oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
So yeah, it's a chilly day. I'm gonna probably put on some layers here and some gloves and some thermals. But uh, it's time to cook up the coffee and oatmeal sequence, and then we're gonna get to packing, and then we're gonna get to paddling, partridge, and then fishing. So let's do it. That's enough water. <laughs> soupy. Holy moly, that's soupy. Oh no. That's way soupy. That's like Oatmeal soup, soupy. Hey, Rugus. Hi. Hi, little squirrely guy. Hi, Monty. Look at that booty. Whoa. You know <laughs> This is so liquidy. <laughs> It's a lot of liquid. Oh, Monty stole it. Look at that, he just laid down. He, he's, he's stolen your stick, Rooks. What are you going to do? morning breakfast entertainment. I'm gonna guzzle down my uh, oatmeal broth here, sip my coffee. Uh, we're about 75% packed away. And then once we're done, I'm gonna pack away that camera. We're gonna get on that water paddle and perch and fishing. Let's do it. I threw it into the thick woods and Ruger's having trouble bringing it back and now Monty's aggressively trying to take it from him. Bring it here, Rooks. He's just going further and further away. <laughs> Bring it here, Rooks. Good boy, Rooks. Come on, you got it. This is the best spot. You can do it, Rooks. Good boy, you can do it. Monty did just do a zoom. Monty zoomy! Monty zoom! <laughs> <laughs> Our 
right, Rooks. Hop in. Good boy. And we are off. Okie dokies. So we've got five small portages today. Hoping to catch some fish. We haven't even set any trip goals. What's what's your trip goal, Funk? To decompress. To decompress. All right. Mine is to catch a walleye, a lake trout, and a bass. I'm not gonna say every day because, well, we didn't catch one yesterday. We didn't really have time. And then we've got this rugus that might, and to not flip the boat. That's my other goal. I know. Can you sit, Rooks? Can you sit? Thank you. Good boy. Got the white twister tail on there, quarter ounce jig. Good boy, Rooks. Oh, and if you're wondering also why we are not using leeches on slip bobbers because we've had such good success with them, it's because leeches are seasonal and when you get towards fall, you can't really find them anywhere. Oh, I'm hitting bottom. But yeah, we would use leeches, but it gets towards fall time. Minnows work better. But I don't really bring out minnows. I have a tough time keeping those things alive. It's my big down tree and you can't have it. Don't even try. Wait, would you just say I'm not gonna catch a fish? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> funny, aren't we? So funny, haha. -ha. I had to take the sunglasses off so I don't screw this up. I can't let Funk be right. No. Rugus. We are arriving at a first portage of the day and that was taken care of here again. Nice day. Rugus, what are you doing? Sit, boy. What is he doing back there? Sniffing. Smells something. Probably smells my farts. He's like, you ate ribeye last night, I could tell. Oh, the sun's been coming out for the portage, it seems like, and then cloudy for the paddle, which is, I wish it was cloudy for both. Well, you know. You know, Ruger is officially a boat dog. He's the, he's the whippersnapper of the boat dog, but he has definitely earned the title of boat dog. He knows what's up. He's a little shifty shifter though sometimes still. 
still is a whipper snapper. But we've got some beaver homes. Oh, lots of beaver homes. All right, get in the back. Nope, in the back. We're, come on. No, no, here. There you go. <laughs> he almost went for it up here, geez. That would have been really fun. It's just strange. There's like one red. Th color in there. It's not like really vibrant stuff. Yeah. But I mean, look at the right shore. There's like one orange tree over there, one yellow. You see it? Yeah. There's one fall color. Yeah. Go check out the fall color. <laughs> Let's come see the, the color. The color, the fall color. <laughs> There's only one. Is he just laying down? Mm -hmm. He's a good boy. He's a boat dog now. He He's a boat dog now. Those, those cotton swab clouds, or cotton ball clouds. Cotton ball clouds. Blue skies. Blue skies. <laughs> we haven't decided, uh, so we might be staying at the next lake, might be staying at the lake after that, but either way, what we're gonna, what we're planning on doing is, uh, if we stay at the next lake tonight, we're gonna just move to the lake after that tomorrow and spend two nights there, because Funk here likes to, uh, hunker down and read her book. She brought out three books. She wants some hammock time and book time. And then I'll be able to do some hardcore fishing. Or maybe I'll just hammock and book it too, you know? Who knows? The possibilities are endless. But that's usually how we roll when me and Funk go out. We'll get to a spot, we'll hang out for some days, and then we'll head back out. We don't usually do the crazy loops. We've done them before. But when we were young. <laughs> Yeah. Funk wanted to point out that there's a fall color over there. If you see it, it's the little purple bush on the shore. The fall color. All right, hi Monty, hi you stinky puppy, hi. This is our site for the evening. Sorry. Nice funk. I'm sorry. Nice, got a beautiful view. May look a schmidge familiar, but there's nothing wrong with that. We got a good old site right here. So we're gonna do a little setting up. We're a little relaxing, but I think we should start off with some uh, 
Tuna tacos? Yeah. Tuna tacos? Yeah. Okay. Angry beaver. What is that? He's getting right next to camp here. He just wants to keep eyes on us. Got some cheese. And I've got some cabbage. Then I've got a jalapeno tuna creations packet. because I'm really good at handling spice, add a little hot sauce. Just a little. There we go, oh yeah. Bon Appetit. See that stick right there? I said I stuck my GoPro on that. And there's that's the beaver home. Me and Punk are going to do something we normally don't do. And that is sleep in a hammock. And since it's going to be cool enough for there's no bugs that are going to attack us or the dogs, we're going to try putting their sleeping pads here. And we're just going to sleep in our hammocks and I'll put a tarp up over us. I got a ridge line tied. Be good. You're perfectly in. Oh, what is that? It's a camera in my butt. <laughs> I mean, if it rains, I'm good. If it was like a driving rain, I'd be in trouble. You'd be fine. I just better hope if it does rain, it's not like super windy. Yeah. All right, we're just processing up some firewood. Uh, sun's about to set. I might go do an evening trawl. I think Funk's just gonna fish from camp. The days just creep on by. Well, we've got a short day tomorrow. We're gonna spend some good time picking out a really nice campsite, you know? Lazy processing isn't gonna work. I'm gonna need to just Ham, ham on it. 
Oh, he's got a fish. What is it? Walleye. No way. Yep. Funk got a Walter. Nice job. What do you want to do? Make fish tacos. <laughs> okay. Here, take him so I can catch some more. Okay. I've got to go out fishing because Funk caught a walleye. So, I'm going to go troll a lure. My go-to walleye catching lure, which is the jointed floater chartreuse slayer. That's what we're going to use. It is up to you. We could have one taco each. Okay, so we've set up a second tarp here uh, so that we'd have a little bit more room. And here is our setup. We've got the Monty and the Rugs are gonna be right in between me and Funk here. I'm kind of right on the edge, but if it rains really hard, I can set mine up in the middle. She moved hers over to another tree uh, so it wasn't so tight, but yeah, the boys will just be right in here. We will sack. We both the the. <laughs> the boys will be right between us, and we both sacrificed a sleeping liner to cover the pads to keep them safe. Monty, you guys need treats still. You need treats and dinner. Who's hungry? You want some food? I think I put too much of this. I mean, <laughs> Go ahead. Soupy. I think Monty's nose was made for like deeper pans. So it's long. I think I'm ready for this candy. I don't think I'm ready. Oh. Mine is a little soupy. Damn it. Oh, he was just falling asleep with a stick in his mouth. <laughs> While my spaghetti cools, I'm gonna heat up my gas station cinnamon roll. It's a little smash, but I got one left. So does Funk. It's pretty good. Pretty soupy still. Not too bad. I've had worse. That's pretty soupy spaghetti. Yeah. Soupy. All right, let's eat it. Oh, that stinks. Big pot of spaghetti. Soupy. We're starting to get a little tired here. Well, I guess me more than you. Yeah. I'm getting You're sleepy. Getting into your like, I'm gonna stuff my belly and pass out. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm hmm So you caught the only fish of the trip. Nope. I can't believe it. You can't? I can. You can? Can you believe it? It's like, yes. I can believe that. <laughs> if I can believe anything, like, I can believe that that I could catch the first fish of the trip. It's a pretty, like, small achievement, you know? 
Hey, no, it's not a small not achievement. Like, not insignificant, but not hard to achieve, you know. It's pretty hard to, to, to achieve. Oh. Oh man, I am exhausted. I am full. We got these two stinky doggies. Monty is sleeping right in the middle of the two pads right now. And he doesn't even care. He's been over here for a while. So, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, we just relaxed today. I didn't do a lot of fishing. Just paddled and soaked in the sights. I'm still tired. It was just a nice relaxing day. With some casual moving. Oh. And uh, yeah, we'll probably get Monty back up on the pad here, but uh, we're going to pass out. So I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. It rained all night. <laughs> and it was pretty comfy other than I didn't realize how cold my back would get. I didn't insulate it. Rugus. <coughs> what is that, Rugs? It's a good morning for moose. <laughs> oh, Rugs. Oh, you got me in the face. Hi, you squirrely little devil. You so happy. You happy. You not so happy. Uh -uh, I don't want it either. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, Rooks? I don't want you in the face with that. Ah! Ah! Get out of here, Rooks. Come here, Monty. Come here. Oh, hi, Monty. Oh. Hi, Monty. Oh. oh, Monty, you're putting your booty in my face, Monty. I don't want your booty. I got an idea, Monty. What's this? What's your butt caught on? What is this? Why have you done this? Why?
Or I put you in the crazy contraption, but there it is. There it is. Anyways, we might make some breakfast. I might just sit here in my hammock and make it. Ruger's going crazy. It's so calm out there, it's insane. The water's like glass. Alright. <laughs> so apparently, I snored a little last night. Right, Funk? Yeah. Yeah? She said uh, I snored for an hour and it was so loud. She spent 10 minutes trying to wake me up and I wouldn't wake up. She was yelling my name. Ooh. Ooh, it's a battle. Uh-oh. Anyways, we slept till noon. It was pretty comfy. <sighs> yeah, oh yeah, we did catch a sunrise. We watched it right from our hammocks. That was really nice. So, uh, we're gonna make some breakfast and uh, pack up and get moving. I'm gonna have Funk's famous rice and beans for breakfast. She made it herself. So let's Let's, we might not do the old coffee cue because we're having, we're going to have cappuccino too. So let's just, let's just make it and have it. <laughs> let's do it. French vanilla cappuccino powder. I don't know how much I need. Does this look like cappuccino? It looks like coffee with creamer. Looks like cappuccino. All right, that'll do. I'm just gonna go for a nice one, one and done cappuccino. There's not enough powder left for two and it tastes a little watery. Homemade rice and beans. I hope you like it. I will. How much water did you put in here? Is that too much? Um, no, I think that's pretty perfect. Pretty perfect? Little, it might be a little, little runny, but. Little runny? Okay. Yeah, I said to make sure, Aaron. I'm so, sorry. So you, don't, you didn't believe me. No, I just I I like I I, I live a soupy life, bro. No pain. Rigor was a little turned about the stick, so I threw it into the water, and <laughs> he just swam out to get it, no problem. So I guess he wins, not me. Hey, that's not too soupy. That's like perfect. Too much hot sauce. Oh, Oops. God. Oh, jeez. That is just gonna just burn your bum bum. <laughs> I feel like I could have ate more raisin beans this time. But that could have been my smaller portion. Like yesterday could have been my big portion. That's why it seemed like it was so much. Mm. Oh, that's a good funk. Great job. Yeah? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Oh my god. I'm so happy you were here. My bowl of tea is so good. Yeah, is it? Let's see how my cappuccino is. Ooh, oh yeah. Is it good? Huh? Is it good? Hey, you want a sip? Sure. It's very hot, so be um, careful. I'll wait. <laughs> I ain't going down that road today. I have enough of my body parts that are hurting right now. For whatever reason. Um, we're looking at 1.30, obviously we've uh, got it up early and we're moving real quick, so we're going to race over to a campsite as fast as we can. I thought we were going to shop around. No, uh, that was sarcasm. Oh, okay. I've never been sarcastic before. Oh. 
Speaking of which, um, and sarcasm, is uh, I've never made, I've never told a fib on this channel. I've never told a joke, ever. And some of you have been wondering, is Rugs a boy or a girl after some something I said, which could it was probably it was definitely the truth. But if you want to find your own truth, you got to do a little research. Go to my Instagram, instagramcom slash Poza. And then you're gonna you're gonna look at the top, and there's gonna be a little circle thing that's like my old saved stories, and there's gonna be one saved right there on my front page. And then you can answer your own question of if Ruger is a boy or a girl. Good doggy. So we're gonna finish our breakfast, get some of Borgia fish, and let's do it. The chippy. He's right there. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> In the fireplace, and Ruger spotted him. He's right here somewhere. Oh, Monty, watch out. The Ruger is so desperate to be the closest he's ever been. This poor thing. This thing is not having a good day. Hi, Chippy. I can see what he's. Come look right here, Funk. And we are off at 315. That's what I'm talking about. That is 100% a fish. I was just talking to Funk about how like I'm surprised I haven't got a bite yet. He's got to hope it's a walleye. Come on, baby. Um, dang it. Ugh, it's a pike. Dang it. Watch out, Rooks. Oh. I'm gonna try to just let him get free. He's barely hooked. Ugh. There he goes. Goodbye. Well, that was that was painless. Yeah. Huh? How big? Ah, like a 22 inch or just your average snaky pike. A loon. Hello, Loon. It's cleaning itself.
zombies that were standing. Beaver, please. Okay, we are on our lake for the evening. Now, the sun is out. There's just light little cloud coverage. And we're gonna look for a nice campsite to spend three nights on. So, let's do it and then catch some fish. Right, Rooks? Oh, geez. La 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 loon. La 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 loon. Hello, Loon. You want to swim under my boat? I'll give you your time to shine. Oh, is he gonna? All right. We've got some nice tent pad spots. We have got a nice fire pit with just this epic view over here and you've got this loon that's being a little bit loony. La -la -la loon! Anyways, there are Larry's in this lake. We've got this nice just sheer drop off to fish off of right from camp. Then if you head down this way, we have got Ruger chasing a squirrel. So he's happy with this place already. And we've got these trees right here. Perfect spot to set up the hammocks right here. We could maybe sleep in the hammocks. We're gonna be spending three nights right here and uh, catching fish, enjoying the sun. We might jump in the water here and swim because it's sunny. It's like 65 degrees out right now. We can just jump right off this dive right off into the water right into that like three two three feet of water and just break our necks probably won't do that but we could if we wanted to Ooh, that's ooh, that's actually not bad right there Ooh, funk we could jump off right here yeah it's pretty deep I mean I'm not saying to do a pencil dive but you could definitely jump off this right here oh yeah <laughs> I might do that. I told you. I wasn't joking about the cold. You have to go numb. Now it's not so bad. I can't feel anything. <laughs> Standing behind me, I didn't even see him there. I was like, "Where is he?" He was already there waiting. This right here is called the triple decker with cheese. You got the three mats in the cot. 
for extra maximum comfort. <laughs> not, so, not so stable. This is the normal sleeping mat that I like. This is when it's super blown up. You can see it's like, I don't know, two, three inches of thickness. And then you got this new one they sent, which I do not like. I mean, look at that. What are they, that's like, what, what, what is this? It's like a water bottle. It's so just thick and not wide. What do they expect with this? What are you doing? That was my bad. See, in that last shot I had their open bag of dog food on the chair and I hit it and it spilled over the ground so I picked up what I could and now they're just getting bonus dinner. Yeah, my bad.
Well, that was sweet. What? The partridge. That was, uh, I'm pretty sure that was the male, the one that was all like, had its feathers out, and that, oh, that must, huh? Definitely. Yeah, and it must have been um, the male's version of, I was trying to capture the partridge drum, but I think that's the females that do that. I'm not 100% sure on any of this, but that one little move he did, he didn't seem to care about me at all. But there was the female partridge up in the tree, and he did that little head thing that's almost like the partridge drum, and then he did the little ski. The little scoot. That was sweet. Mm -hmm. Just walking over there by the woods, and I, I just saw him standing there on a log, just staring at me. Also, if you're wondering why this style of video is just, there's a lot less recording, and it's just kind of cutting around, the days are going by quicker, it's just because when I'm out with Funk or other people, I like to, you know, enjoy the moment not record as much and just kind of you know when I'm out solo I'll tend to record a lot more but uh oh oh no Did you snag? yeah but I got it not as deep as I thought so yeah you know I do it I just I just I just record a little less and it's okay that's just how it is I map pose on where there's down trees, there's wood, and where there's wood, you'll saw it. Thanks. All right, Monty is just like wet. Because we went swimming and he just, the, it's so dewy out today. The stars are all like crazy. Rugs, they have been ready for the tent for a while. There's the essence of poo in the tent. No. I can't tell if that's my butt leaking or the dogs. Maybe it's you. Not even there. You're right. Things don't add up. Monty's wet. Well... Anyways, um, yeah, t tomorrow is the day to focus on catching some fish. We're going for Larry the Lake Trout, maybe some Walter Walleye, and we want a little, uh, fish, right, Funk? Yeah. You gotta repeat what you did last night, like, four times. So, anyways, we're gonna pass out. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Oh, I'm gonna need a night poop. It's gonna be so bad.
Okay, so we just heard wolves howling. <clears throat> we kind of heard them yipping earlier this morning, and then we heard a couple howls. <clears throat> and then I was like, ah, you know, they might move along. But then we just heard the howls again. So I'm gonna go kind of fish around on that shore. I'm gonna just troll, and uh, we'll see if we can, you know, hear them up close. I got my DSLR. We haven't heard anything in a bit though, so, but it's starting to get foggy. Look at this stuff. <laughs> Man, this fog has really rolled in. <laughs> I can barely see where camp is. I think that's where camp is. <laughs> it's coming over the whole lake. I think instead of going across, I'm gonna troll the edge around. And we might head back, I'm not hearing anything. I've just been sitting over in this bay for a while. Made a couple moose calls. Mm. Nothing. They probably moved along. Oh, you can't see anything over there. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm gonna need to follow the shore. Hey, the loon. Little loon. Little loon. It's crazy that it was, uh, it was sunny when we were hearing the wolf howls. It was like sunny, blue, clear, blue, blue skies. Uh, and then this just rolled in when I decided to go out and check for them. And now it's going to clear up. It's probably going to become sunny and blue skies. But it is chilly right now. <laughs> Hello, hot lady. Hi, puppies. Come here, hi, puppies. Hi, you puppies. Hi puppies! Oh, we the best puppies in the world! Hi puppies! Hi puppies! Hi! Hi! It's you guys! Hi! Oh! Don't hump your brother, Monty. Like when he gets in this mood, his tail gets super floofy. It does. And like perky. He's circling. <laughs> so we're just <laughs> Monty flies. Monty's humpy. Ruger just does not care. That's why he cares a little bit. <laughs> You're, you're so tolerant. Now when you've got rice and beans, you just want to add a touch of hot sauce. Oh, just a touch. Mm. Just a little bit of hot sauce. If you like spice, oh, that might be a little extra, but it's going to be good. It looks so spicy. I wanted to go fishing with Funk, but she said she just didn't feel like fighting the wind. It's 
crazy how uh that sounds bright. It's glass out there. We're gonna go get some firewood. We just took a nap. I got my nap suit on, my nap hair. We're gonna get some firewood. Dad's got a mission, okay? Alright. A mission for fishing. He needs dinner and so do his I. Keep camp safe, Frugs. You guard it well. Okay? Alright, over and out. Yeah, so we're gonna do round one of Larry attempt. I'm going for some Larry's right now. We're gonna do the tri swivel uh, line thingy. And this sweatshirt needs to come off. It's already too hot. Just just happened. <sighs> That's better. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna run a tri swivel. We're gonna do the Eerie Deary off the bottom, and we are going to use a uh, gulp white twister tail for scent on this, and then we are gonna run off the other line, the old chartreuse slaya. And then hopefully we'll pick something up. Hopefully we get another double Larry. That'd be nice. Some loons were nearby and they said hello. Kind of. Not really. Where'd they go? They went somewhere. So we're gonna get this thing out slowly and do some trolling. Come on, fishies. Let's try a little magic. You ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. This always works. Oh, just gotta get ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Fish on. It's embarrassing. One time it doesn't work. Ooh, that looks like a rain cloud. I think I should probably head back just in case it storms. Um, we've got six hours of light left. I'm gonna head back to camp because walleye fishing is probably not the best right now. I'm not even catching lake trout or anything. I've done a bunch of loops. I've been fishing for a good two hours here, maybe more. Uh, yeah, so no bites whatsoever. Uh, so we're gonna go back, have a snack. We're, we're gonna need a bunch of firewood because we're staying two more nights and we're gonna have a fish fry, I hope. Worst case scenario, we can always go catch pike somewhere. But, um, I'm gonna wait for it to get like, I'm gonna wait like four hours. We're gonna get firewood and stuff and let it get a little closer to dark. And then I'll come back out and probably go for some more Larry's. Cause just the middle of the day, I've never had great luck fishing, you know? And the sun's just bright and it's like the hottest day in a while. It's like, it's almost 70 out, kinda. I'd say it's more like 65 or less. Probably more like 60, I don't know. It's like warm and then it's chilly when there's wind. gathered pieces and then Funk was here with the hatch and she chops off the branches. And then we load up the boat, head back to camp and then we'll process it all there. Phew, we're sweating.
You're telling me now we have to process all this stuff? Mm. Monty, would you please just do it for us? Oh, sorry, Monty. Oh, my bad. My bad, Monty. My bad. Funk has just made an acute observation. Neither of us have brought a net. <laughs> so, if uh, we catch old Larry boy, Larry boy. Um, oh, what was that? That was weird. Did it hit bottom or something? I might have just tangled. Not us, no. Okay. So yeah, if we catch a Larry, it's gonna be an interesting. We're just gonna have to just right into the boat. So we'll see how that goes. Well, you've lost Larrys with nets before, so we'll yeah. One. Yeah. This is not looking good. Funk just had a bite, but it didn't stand. It was just a bite. So they're they're out here. There's still fish. There's still hope. There's still hope. Five, four, three, two, one, fish eye. That didn't work, Ruth. No, there's no fish on here. I was trying this other chartreuse kind of slayer. No fishy for dinner tonight. We are down to two days to fish. Rot row. Hmm. Should have ate that Walter I caught. Yeah, probably. We've, we've just decided Ruger's officially like a good boat dog now. He was sleeping back there. He's sitting down on his own free will, not standing the whole time. He's not like a, like a Monty level boat dog. Monty's like, like, Bruce Lee, or, or we'll never see his like again as a boat dog. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's starting to get tidbit nipply. I was so close to seeing that partridge drumming. Dang it. 
All right, we're gonna tag team some wood here. It, was, it, it did it five feet behind me. I don't know if I picked it up or not. Well, that's just dying. Yeah, literally. Yeah, you can see it. <laughs> oh, it's left. Ooh, there's ants in that one. They're not happy. Oh, there's a lot of ants. Oh, they're all over me. Oh, jeez. There's ants, ants in my pants. <laughs> Firewood. Wait, wait, let's, there we go, that's better. You did really good when you caught the fish. The only one. Which one? It was definitely the fish you didn't catch tonight. Yeah. I, I guess I can see that which one. Is hot fire hot enough? I can't get over this. <laughs> Was it a burn hole? Oh man.
As you can see right here, the dogs are eating their sweet potato with their food tonight. We boiled sweet potato right, yes, right over my head. They're eating it as we speak. And it looks mighty delicious if I do say so myself. Could I have a taste of my tea? No, I don't want to taste gross. Oh, spaghetti, oh, spaghetti, you look so hot, spaghetti, but you have sat for 40 minutes, but you might burn my mouth when I put you in it. Mmm, ooh, that's good consistency. That's good stuff. Oh yeah. <sighs> so Funk's fixing up the tent because she made such a mess. No, I'm doing my stuff. What do you mean? I thought you were making it nice for me. You said creatures are creaching? Creatures are creaching. Yeah, they want the tent real bad. Ruger's, Ruger's uh, had a day. They're ready for bed. I really want to capture those partridge drumming. I want to get that on camera. I got the, the, their little dance was actually cooler because that's something you don't see. I didn't even know they did that. I didn't even know they did those little bird dance until I saw him do that right there. But now I know they do the little, he did his little ooh, 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 and then he showed his feathers and he's like, ah, oh, oh, slide so, sli side shovel. Monty, you can't do that. All right, we are gonna finish up spaghetti, burn down this fire, put it out, and get ready for bed because tomorrow is the day of fish reckoning. If we don't catch fish tomorrow, we are going to cry and whine and complain and have regret about Funk's walleye. That's probably all we're going to do, but we're definitely going to try hard tomorrow. Monty, you're like burning. Jeez. But anyways, I'll check back in with you guys before bedtime. Come on, beasties. Hi, little guy. Oh, hi. All right. Right here, Rooks. Right here. There you go. Oh, 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 no, no, no. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, Rooks, Rooks, come here. Rooks. Right here. Right here. Right, lay down. Lay down. Let's. We'll, we'll figure that out. Send in the other beastly. Hello, creature. Figure out your life. Oh, that was easy for him. All right, creature's in. All right, next creature, come on in. It is time to pass out. Monty and Ruger have been trying to get in this tent for a long time. Ruger's already out. Uh, he's twitching, you can see him. He's out either way, so it's time to pass out. So I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Rooks. I'm sorry. up on ya? No? 
I thought I was being extra sneaky. Quirky jerky. First thing in the morning. Let's do a quick troll session just to, you know, we gotta catch a fish to eat. Okay, so, I just wake up and get fish. I'm gonna go out in the water and it's fish. It's bright out here. Where's water? There's fish. Where's fish? I'll catch them. Unless you're me. And you're not gonna catch them, apparently. Get it. Go, Monty. Go over there, Monty. Go over there. Go over there. No, no, no. Go, go, go there. There you go. There you go. That way. That way. There you go. Oh, oh. Ready, Monty? Go get him, Monty.
back in the boat and I am going to do a troll around the entire lake. Um, so I've got, I've been trying the double lures lately and what I'm doing right now is I've got a deeper diver glass shad wrap that's kind of like the uh, chartreuse slayer except it's a bigger one and it's got a rattler in it and I've got that on the bottom and I've got the normal chartreuse slayer on the middle part and they're swimming okay close to the boat. We're going to do a big loop around here and see if it's still working but right now I'm slow I've just got my drag set super loose so it's slowly pulling out line they still seem to be swimming fine judging by the shake of my rod but I'm just gonna do this for another second here all right now it's starting to pull out line there we go we'll just keep that going well, once it lets out enough line, we'll tighten up the drag, but we're gonna go around the entire lake. It's a big old lake. We're gonna be out here for at least a couple hours. We're just gonna troll around. So I'm gonna do this, you know, around the entire lake. If I don't get a single bite, I don't know. Uh, we're definitely gonna be going night fishing tonight if I don't catch enough lake trout. We're getting at least two Larry's minimum. All right. We are at a super steep drop off, the deepest in the lake. I'm gonna to toss a spoon for a bit here. I'm just gonna cast it off, let it sink, and then bring it back in. See if we can pick something up that way. Okay, so I don't have big old uh, jigs that are like an ounce or two ounces, so I can't like jig off the bottom. Cause there's a hundred foot hole here. And what I want to do is I think I'm going to just drop my spoon all the way to the bottom, try to find the hole and just drag with the wind and just slowly bring it in. We'll see what happens. We're gonna head back to where I saw that rock come right out of the water and uh, we're gonna try casting a spoon off it and then we're gonna try jigging off it it's somewhere over here. But if it's a nice enough drop off, maybe there'll be a wallet or a lake trout or something else nice. Something, gotta get something, dang it. hours I don't even know anymore I've trolled I've jigged I've cast a spoon I've drifted a spoon I uh, you know done the two lures on the trifle I've gone back to the old single chartreuse troll around the entire edge of the lake and I'm back to arrive at camp nothing not a single bite nothing
Ain't no damn fish in this pond. All right, we're leaving camp behind. We've got the boys. We've got two and a half hours of sunlight remaining. Uh, we are going for an evening fish. We're heading one lake over um, where Funk caught that walleye. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go until night. We're gonna go past sunset and hopefully we catch at least two, one or two. One of them, if we caught one, we can still have a nice dinner. But we need more so we can feed the boys some. Right, Rugs? Yeah. Beaver eating a stick. Time to catch a walter or two. <sighs> oh, masterful funk, catcher of the first and best fish. What do we do to catch more fish? Please tell me. Go back to camp. Go back to camp? Yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay, the sun has just set. We're in our nighttime clothes. It's definitely getting chilly. Um, we're gonna try trolling along the shore one more time. If we don't get anything, we're gonna work that channel back with our headlamps, see if we uh, see any eyes that we can cast on, and then we're gonna troll our way back to camp. If we don't catch a single fish, we're gonna just, we're, we're never gonna fish again. That's it. If we don't catch a fish tonight, we're never fishing ever again. I'm giving away all my poles and rods, all my lures. Take it easy. Funk's got one. That'll happen. I did. I got something on. Come on, baby. All right, Ruger, sit down. Stay there. Be a good boy. Come on. Doesn't really feel like anything's on there anymore. I think he's off. Oh, maybe? What is going on right now? Yes! <laughs> Hello, Walter. Hey, Funk. We're having fish tacos tonight. Did you hear the moose No. Where? There was a moose call. All right, I'm gonna get this on the stringer. It's right there. It's gotta be right there.
How do you feel about your first voluntary night paddle? How does it compare to the first one where we were in the snow? Better. How about the one where I got us lost? Or actually really turned around, not lost, but and it started to rain. Better. <laughs> Definitely better for that. Which one was your least favorite night paddle? And then I got us just real and turned then, around and, and it started. It was like raining and you left me on an island. <laughs> it was raining and I left I you on an island. Dogs <laughs> on like, uh, and it wasn't even like an island, it was like the shoal, like just like the island, it was just jagged rocks. Yeah, well, it was just ground. rocks. I was just like perched on a rock, like gargoyle in the dark, <laughs> waiting for you to come. <laughs> Monty is just chilling like he always does, just, okay, another day, uh, I guess, I guess I'll just be here, in the boat, just, uh, let me know when we get back to camp, okay, thanks. I think Rubes is trying really hard to figure out what the heck is actually going on. Oh man. You you can't see anything on the camera. It's just pitch black, but the stars are out like crazy. We can see the horizon. There's no moon in the sky, so it's the stars are extra vivid. Wow. It's crazy. Ruger is on high alert because Mr. Angry Beaver just decided to greet us. Well, that was precious. Monk survived her voyage across the Blackwater Sea. It's horrible. It was, it was horrible. She's cutting up some white onion. Very weirdly. Did you peel off? Oh, you did. We're uh, back at camp, as you can see. Funk is cutting up. We had a, another potato because of that big ribeye and some white onion. So we have that with our one fish to make fish tacos. So she's just cutting up some veggies, and then it's going to be my turn to fillet the fish, and then we're going to get to cooking. There's some spicy Montreal in there. Then we're going to add a little. Olive oil because we're out of butter. Oops. Oh, 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 I, oh, I put the potatoes in each other. There's our beautiful Walters fillets. Uh, we're going to fry them up one at a time so that um, Funk doesn't eat my fish. Oh. <laughs> That's what happened. Uh, uh, oh. But we're just going to do this lazy now. The boys. Unfortunately, Monty's cute little nose there. They're not getting any because we don't have enough, but uh, we're going to work extra hard to get them fish tomorrow. They get sweet potato? They're getting, yeah, they're getting a good portion of sweet potato. Is there sweet potato boiling at all? Oh, yeah. Okay. The flame would burn quite as hot. Got a little oil already in there. Give her the old spit test. Oh, we're ready. No. Was that enough for two tacos? Yeah. They're definitely not going to be loaded, but 
This is what you gotta deal with when you only catch one fish. Yeah, Hard. it's really impressive how much food comes off of one fish. Mm-hmm. That's just half. Ooh, that's looking so good. Careful, the oil drips off. It's gonna be hot. All right. Oh, oil's not hot. Look at like some dang fine tacos there, Funk. Oh, I hope mine look half as good. It will. Got the cabbage slaw. Funk massaged it with her own fingers, and with we put lemon juice in there. We've got some sharp cheddar cheese to load on there. Mhm. 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 Okay. Delicious crispy fish. Oh no, it's still good. It's still perfect. Okay. That's all I want. It's a couple drips. You want this cutting board? Oh yeah. There we go. Let's eat. Yes, I do. Oh, baby. Ooh, these are some loaded tacos here. You wanted to put more fish in your tacos? I meant like, just having like more fish in the taco. Mm. I had a lot plus cheese. And yours. This is good. Mm -hmm. This is why we're here. Mm -hmm. You know, when you get to this point, it makes everything worth it. You know, growing up, childhood, puberty, getting that first job, all was leading to this point right here. Everything. This is the culmination of my existence right here. What's that? Not bad. I pull out cheese in there. <laughs> it's sticky in my throat. We're gonna finish eating up here, cleaning up. Uh, enjoy the stars, it's clear skies. And uh, yeah, we'll check back in with you in a bit because it's time to just enjoy the last night at this campsite. Not our final night though. Enjoy all the hard work from our late night adventure. Do you want food, Monty? Do you want food, Roos? All right, I got your puppy stew right here. Mm. Got some puppy stew. All right, you want some puppy stew there, boy? All right. Oh, all right, little fella. You want some puppy stew? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
How about you guys enjoy your puppies too? Uh -huh. Go ahead. Well, um, knocked over the DSLR accidentally, Ooh. and, uh, well, that ripped off. <laughs> it's like it's, it, its skull plate got ripped off, and now its insides are exposed. Oh, yeah, that, well, we'll just, we'll just, you know, stick that back on and see if some super glue takes care of that one. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, so it still works. That's good. We're gonna try duct taping the camera tomorrow, maybe. Super glue it when I get home. We'll see if it can survive another winter season, but uh, yeah, that ripped the top off. That exposes the whole inside of the camera, so. You know, not the best thing. Rugus. He's like, just leave me alone. I just want to sleep. He's tired. And then you got the old monster. Monty, do you want to... Hey, he doesn't... Monty, do you want to go for it to the dog park? Do you want to treat? Do you want to... He doesn't care. Anyways, Funk's giving me the uh, sigh of it's time to go to bed. Okay. <laughs> so I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. It's all right. Now choke for air. <laughs> or forcefully push air out of your lips when they're closed. <laughs> Sounds pretty accurate. Does it? Yeah. Is that what I sounded like? Yeah. Hey, you in there? Stay up. Let's do it. Hey, hey, it's your morning, Monty. Stinky kitchen. All right, so we're up. Uh, we're packing away. We're gonna make breakfast here. My DSLR has seen better days. I got the camera kind of. I put the skull cap back on the camera. It's just kind of sitting there. So I'm not gonna do too much recording with that DSLR and it moving around. So uh, yeah, we're not gonna really record this breakfast sequence here. I'm gonna have to probably get a new camera when I get home. It's been a good ride with that one. But we'll try some super glue. We'll see what happens. We'll 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 still use this guy. It's it's salvageable. It's a it's about it's done me good. I can't just get rid of it. So anyways, we're gonna. Jeez, Monty. We're gonna make breakfast and stuff and get in the water, get to pack your paddle and porridge and fish and stuff and guns to do it. Soupy. Get in the back, come on. Hop on in. Good boy. Oh. And we are off. And he's, he's already laying down like a good boy. He's a boat dog. He knows the drill. Good boy, Ruth. You 
you've come a long way. You're a very good boy. Well, it's official. No Larrys were harmed in the making of this video, and no Larrys will be harmed. You go right here in the back, get in the back. Oh boy, I was very graceful. Beaver just munched on a stick. Hi. She's a peculiar creature. Monty's got an overbite. It's out of sight. It's an overbite. Bite, bite, bite. See, it's something I'm not used to. I get to just see you from a distance now. I'm, I'm used to you being in the back of the boat and I have to turn around, but now I get to just watch you the whole time. Yeah. I got you with water. Such a big jerk. What's wrong with you? Why would you do that? Get him, Monty. Good boy. Hi, Rogues. You ready as well? Come here. All ready, Rogan? Ready? Good boys. Get a leg out a little, swim a little bit. It's a hot, sunny, blue skies day, as you can see. I think today is supposed to be the hottest of the trip so far. Monty will lick whatever and whoever he wants, whenever he wants. He's a licky tongue. Creepy little tongue. There we go. Now we're starting to see some fall colors over there. Look at that, it's so pretty. Colors are starting to come out now, which is strange, because they, they're crazy on the way here, you know? Crazy. Oh, they were nice. We just haven't seen much of it since we've been out. Okay, so I don't know if I already mentioned it, but we have got, what, three more portages left for the day? We're heading back to the lake that we stayed the first night. And this is our final full day of our fall trip. It has been fun so far. The fishing has been off the hook awesome. Okay. 
<laughs> we got how many fish, Funk? Three. We got three. Five nights, three fish. Hmm. 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 All right, Funk, tell everyone what you just experienced. Um, well, I just had it out on my portage. Just yep. like I do. Just like you do. And I looked up, and there was a black wolf with yellow eyes. How close were you? Like 20 feet? 20 feet. feet. And you stared it down? We stared at each other for a good 10 seconds. 10 seconds, and then you backed away slowly? I backed away. Dang, I'm so happy for you. I came back to get you, but it was too late. I saw it for a split second when I was going by when she's like, there's a wolf. And I like pulled up and I just saw it standing in the middle of the trail. Um, yeah, you got to experience something most people will never ever get to experience. I've never even seen something like that. Just like a- I'm happy to see like a wolf track, let alone just yeah. like a face to face one. Yeah, I can't believe it. Just, you size each other up. Yes. And you, it was black and had yellow eyes. Black and yellow eyes. Oh, not like golden. Oh, you know, like that nice that's so cool. I've seen wolves before, but never that close. Yeah, at first I was just like, oh, it's a really big black Especially dog. when you're on the same level where, like, if he wanted to, he could have messed you up. I that's know, heck, yeah. <laughs> heck yeah. Heck yeah. That's crazy. Well, good, good on you. That's the second time I miss out on a big black wolf in the uh, in the wilderness. Jake saw one a long time ago up on a ridge and he was just ahead of me and then it took off. That one must have been like definitely sizing you up. Yeah and also Ma the reason she backed away and didn't just stare it down is Monty was coming up right behind her and we don't we don't really want to find out what happens when Monty catches sight of a wolf and yeah. You could say his his size was about the size of Hachi. Yeah. It's just that tall lankiness. That's how, and like, even just thinking about it now, like, standing on the portage, like, compared to our dogs, like, I mean, the thing had to have stood, like, almost a foot taller. Yeah. You know, like, it just it was huge. We'll, we'll insert a little clip of Hachi so you can get a picture of what she's talking about. Yeah, that's crazy. Hachi used to definitely intimidate people on the trail. They used to think they were seeing a wolf. I'm just off chasing beaver. Bunk's getting in with the wolves. <laughs> Oh, that didn't work. That hurt though. Oh! Ah, oh, here we go. In case you didn't catch what just happened, um, I was moving between me and Funk's boat there, and uh, uh, the, her hook went into my leg a little bit, and then she moved her boat and she set the hook. <laughs> so I had the barb stuck, and then what I did was I took a piece of string or a fishing line and I, I looped it. I made a loop in it, and then I put it over the, the bottom U of the hook, and then I pressed down on the hook so I pushed it into my skin down like this so that the barb would set free and then I pull or I pulled it out that way. Um, it took me a few tries, I've never done that before. But I wasn't pressing down hard enough at first, so I kinda just pulled and that hurt that stung a little bit when you were pulling and it didn't pop out. I just didn't, you know, you gotta just go for it. And then once I did that it just popped right out. But that's the only second time I've ever been hooked by a barbed hook. First time was when I was a little kid. My brother got me right in the shoulder. And my dad, uh, we were at some park and I just, he's like, we can either go to the doctor 
and you can get a bunch of shots and blah 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 or we can just push it through your skin right now I'll clip off the barb and take it out I was like let's do it and then I was just screaming bloody murder in a park <laughs> people were staring <laughs> uh, now we're starting to see more fall colors there's some over there on the left there's a fall color over there on the right right up the middle and the bull skies. Ruger, you should do good boy. You like that? You want a little neck scratches? Ruger, you're officially a boat dog. There's no question anymore. It's a fact. You are a mini Monty. But you're your own unique and beautiful snowflake. Go ahead, Rooks. Go ahead, Monty. We are back on the lake. We spent the first night on. Done with portages for the day. But, doesn't mean we're done with our mission for the day. And our mission is to put shame to the, the fish fry we had last night by having an even bigger, better one. That's right. We want to catch more Walters, more Bobbies. We don't want any Peters, and we can't catch any Larrys. So, Walters and Bobbies. So, we're going right to the wind. I'm going to do some trolling here. Uh, once we get into, like, uh, out of the wind a little bit, maybe I'll cast. And we're going to just troll and cast our way to a campsite. And then hope we catch some fish. You hungry? Yes. You want my tuna taco? I will eat the tuna taco. You will eat my tuna taco? So we're we doing tuna tacos or saving for fish tacos? We can do one tuna taco each and still have enough for two fish tacos each. I caught a fish and I didn't even know it. It's huge. Look at that monster. It's the size of the lure. That's my first bobby bass of the trip. Well, I think we need a fish release cam for this guy. Okay, we are at camp for the day. Sitting in my hammock, we're gonna hammock camp tonight. Uh, we got a wonderful view of the lake. It's pretty windy, so we're gonna put a wind block. Um, what is that? Oh, okay. So, yeah, we're gonna just set up the tarp above us for the dew, I don't think it's gonna rain. Uh, we've got like two hours and five minutes of sunlight remaining, so I'm gonna have a little snack here, and then I'm gonna go fishing. I would like more fish. Now, I'm not gonna like go to the ends of the earth, and I'm not going past sunset. Uh, so if we catch them, we do. If we don't, we don't. I mean, I caught the biggest bobby of the trip. That monster I just let go. So, yeah. Uh, we'll see what I catch, but right now I'm, I'm feeling just like chilling, but I do want to get more fish. I want to have more crispy, delicious fried fish. And luckily, we left a ton of firewood at the last site, and there's firewood left here for us. So it's like, yeah, it's great. So anyways, yeah, we're just going to get set up, eat some snacks, and I'm going to get out in that boat and get to fishing. Oh yeah! Monty! It is nice if there's firewood. Yes, it is. Monty, you're stinky. You're so stinky, Monty. Roga, you're stinky too. Oh, you get... All three stink. No, you stink. So, I've decided I am probably not going to go fishing. Uh, it's our last night. Uh, we've got the tarp set up. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Hi, Rugs. 
What was that? I'm tired. Yeah, we're gonna sleep in the tarps tonight, or the hammocks tonight. We should've went with the bigger tarp on the top tarp, but it's okay. It's probably not gonna rain. If it does, oh well. It was, it's been a good run. Honestly, it's probably smarter to have the big one because the wind is probably right Yeah, it's pretty windy coming off the lake. We don't have the best view, but anyways, we're gonna just relax, maybe play some cards, chill out till dinner time and just hang out. Talk about life. Talk about that cool wolf I saw. Yeah. I'm sick of her talking about it. It's all she can talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Roos. It's a final day. Final night. Look at those wispy little clouds up there. This Monty creature has been begging very aggressively while we've been laying in the hammocks. Monty, do you want this? Here. Oh, see, so you, th you think I got something. You always do. He's been aggressive. Where is that good water? Come on, come here, come on. No, he's just like, nope. You're crazy, there's not enough room. I can barely turn around. Nuts, get out of here. What's the only thing hotter than a crock with socks in it? Two crocks with socks in it. <laughs> No, I feel like if you're gonna do it, I'd rather you make me one. I just don't want to do it. Oh, I see. So you want one, you just don't want to do it. I see. I see. Well, I'll have two in your. Okay. I'm just kidding, Aaron. I will make you my tuna taco special. Hey, DLSLR. Nice to see you. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Oh, you got the boys here. And we decided to not uh, blow up their sleeping pads because Monty was being a monster and pushing them off anyways. Well, the Ruger's twitching. They're fine. It's, it's, it's a pretty warm night, actually. I know I'm all bundled up, but this is definitely by far the warmest night, so they're not going to be cold at all. It's at least 50, and it's very windy, you can hear which has been pretty still every night. But I don't think it's gonna rain. It seems pretty clear out. But it's our final night. We just relaxed by the fire, had a good time. Funk's probably ready for me to stop blabbing. Funk, you want me to keep blabbing? She said, mmm. -hmm. So I don't know what that really means. But anyways, it's time to pass out. I caught a really big bass today. 
And that's that's that was the goal for the trip was to catch that big Bobby. So I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. Gagged a little bit. <sighs> oh, it's morning. I think the sun's rising. Can you see it? I don't know. But we're gonna get up a little earlier today because we gotta drive home. Um, no coffee, no oatmeal this morning. It wasn't too chilly last night. I'm pretty cozy and toasty. I slept great. It's fun sleeping in the hammocks. Underneath the tarp. But I don't know if you can see how that sunrise. I want to get out and check it out. So it's time to get up and start packing. And then paddling and portaging and heading home. Let's do it. Monty keeps trying to hump Ruger right in the face and Ruger's had enough. Get him, Rugs. Get him, Monty. Get him, Rooks. Get him. Get him, Rooks. Get him, Monty. Get him. Get him, Rooks. Get him, Rooks. Get him, Rooks. Yeah, get him. Show him who's boss. Get him, Rooks. Hey, good boys. You guys playing? You guys playing, huh? You playing? You playing, Monty? Did he, did he show you? You shouldn't probably mess with them, huh, Monty? Huh? You're still gonna try though, aren't you? Yeah, because he, he actually likes that. That was actually fun for Monty. Alright guys, we're trying to pack up camp here. Alright. Oh, nice hop, Bruce. Nice job. And we are off. Alright. We got an early start to the hoof to the day. I'm not gonna tell him, we're just gonna let him do his own thing. He'll figure it out. Um, early start. So we've just got two quarter mile portages to take care of, paddled across a couple lakes, and that's all we've got left for the trip. So we're gonna get moving here. Uh, we wanted to get a little earlier start because it was definitely a warm night last night. It was, it was pretty toasty, so we're figuring it's gonna be a hot one today. And uh, it's gonna get warm quick. I'm already in a t-shirt, and most mornings I'd be in my thermals right now. So it's gonna be a hot one today. So we wanna knock out this first porridge quick. So we just got a little more paddling to do, and then we're at the first portage as the D. Oh boy. And Ruger has already laid down. Like, look at that good boy. Look at that good, good boy. He did it all on his own.
Oh. Watch out, Monty. Get out of here. Monty. Monty, stay away. It's chilly. Oh, well, that swim was much needed. I feel refreshed now. Well, we've just got a short little port or paddle back to the car and then we will be done with this trip. So we are going to wrap this one up. We ate some good food, had some good snacks. We uh, had one fish for dinner. <laughs> Wish we would have had more, but you know, we didn't fish like crazy this trip. You know, we I fished that one day pretty hard, but we just didn't have any luck. It's just how it goes sometimes. Uh, we heard a couple moose, but very close. Funk had an epic wolf encounter. The loons are going crazy out there. But uh, anyways, yeah, uh, beautiful time of year. It was a little warmer than expected, but uh, Ruger officially became a, an official boat dog. And yeah, that's about it. So as always, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, hit the subscribe button. And I will catch you guys at the next video. Toughest decision you guys have had to make all week. We know what Monty's going for first, but what will Rigo go for first? Ready? Go ahead. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Oh, he sampled, switched. He sampled the ice cream, was like, nah. And then he but preferred he... the bacon cheese. They both want bacon cheese. We're gonna taste of that ice cream though. Good boys. Oh, he didn't even finish his bacon, and he yes. wants that ice cream. He loves that ice cream. Yeah, Monty went straight all in on the bacon cheese first. Such a oh, he'll, yeah, he'll, Ruger will devour this before Monty even gets close. Good boys. All right, it's time for us to eat. Good boys.